Now, early this morning, everyone woke up to an announcement that X Tool was launching yet another laser. And many of you are probably thinking, an F2 laser, isn't there already an F2? There's the F2 Ultra, there's an F2 Ultra UV, and now there is an F2. What is this laser and why should I be excited about it or even care? So in today's video, I'm going to share with you why the F2 matters and share with you my experience with my original laser, the F1, which actually that's what the F2 is replacing. So let's get right to it. Now, as I mentioned, the F2 is the replacement for the F1 and the F1 happens to be the most popular and most successful mobile laser for anyone that is doing laser engraving on site. And I just want to show you something. So this is my F1 laser. This happens to be what I would consider the OG of lasers, not just because that it's an F1, but this F1 is special. This is one of the very first beta units that was released for testing. Let me show you something and turn it over to the side. And for those of you who have an F1, notice what's missing. There's no emergency stop button. Yeah, this guy has on the back a number that says one on it too. I wonder if this was the first one released. Well, for beta testing, this guy worked really well for years and we have replaced them with a production version, obviously because it didn't have the emergency stop button. But the thing about the F1 is its portability. For those of you who are new to the F, uh, F1 series, look how small this is. This is lunchbox small. It's portable, it's easy to carry, it's not intimidating, it doesn't stand out, and it doesn't draw a lot of attention, especially when you're in, on location doing engraving. So I love this laser. The other thing about this laser is that it has this under, this opening here at the very bottom that allows you to engrave taller objects than the laser can traditionally handle. So literally, you can actually put um, something underneath this and engrave beyond the standard engraving area. So that gives you a lot of flexibility as well. As you guys know, one of the things that we have been known for, in addition to the reviews that I do on the channel, is uh, our jig systems. We have over 400 jigs that we provide the laser engraving community, 400. And those jigs started with the F1. The vast majority of our jigs are F1 jigs because of the popularity of this laser. And for us, having precision, having consistency in our engraving is important because it, it's what makes us stand out. And I'm sure it's what makes you stand out when you're engraving with a product like this. So this has me really excited because there's a couple of things that we're going to see with the new laser. First of all, the laser has a camera, which is going to be a game changer. And frankly, I had been shifting my attention over to the Recreate Lumos because it has a camera and the camera matters to me. Second, the Lumos was faster because it had a higher uh, watt laser. And that meant that engraving jewelry, engraving, you know, doing even the, at the diode side, everything was just a little bit faster, just fast enough that it mattered to me, especially when we we're doing on-site engraving. That's no more. So the crown has been taken back by the F2. The F2 has a more powerful laser, both diode and also uh, the uh, IR for jewelry, which means that something that used to take minutes, um, and maybe even 20 minutes, even to an hour, can take potentially even seconds. We don't know yet because we haven't tested it yet, but we are going to be testing it. That laser is gonna change the way we do on-site engraving, and we do a lot of it. So let's take a look at the features. I've highlighted a couple of them. Number one, the camera, two, the power and the speed. Oh, and one other thing, the actual um, bed, the sliding extended bed. That bed now has the ability that with a camera to see the entire bed, which also makes things even more compelling. So if you're doing pencils, pens, it changes the game completely. So I think that there's a place in your laser shop for the F2, especially if you do on-site engraving, because let's face it, this thing is small, it's portable, it fits in a backpack. You don't need a crate to carry this, although I know some people do. This is very convenient, and the F2 is gonna match convenience with power. Let's get right to it. All right, so let's take a look at some of the compelling features of the F2 and why you should consider this laser. Even if you're looking at the F2 Ultra UV or even considering the P3, um, as many I know you, of you are, or if you've already picked up the F2 Ultra. So first of all, a couple things. Uh, this laser uh, is, is gonna be launched November 5th. Uh, so that's around the corner, November 5th and 6th. And as we scroll down, 
just wanted to highlight a couple things that I thought were super compelling. First of all, it's a $20 deposit. And that $20 deposit is going to yield a $200 savings on the actual laser. And for those of you who are considering doing on-site laser engraving, uh, $12.99 is, if you charge well, could be the cost. Um, that cost could be paid off in one on-site engraving session. So the amount that you can charge for doing on-site engraving for a party, for a corporate event, far exceeds that. So this laser can pay itself off just in one, in one, uh, one uh, job or one deal. So that's something that, that you should be aware of. Second, as we scroll down, there's a couple things I just wanted to highlight. 15-watt uh, diode and a 5-watt IR. The products that we engrave when we're doing on-site engraving, or if this is just going to be a, a laser for home, 15-watt uh, and the 5 IR, we do leather, we do wood, uh, we do coasters, we do slates, we do jewelry, lots of jewelry, uh, and we do, again, um, leather. Leather are the things that we do a lot of. And this is going to do fine in each one of these because you have these two different lasers, and these are a significant upgrade. The other thing that I find really attractive about this is the fact that the actual slide extension now can capture, uh, you can capture the full image. And that is something that it didn't do before. So when you look at this feature, this gets me really excited. We have a jig that allows you to engrave 40 pens and pencils at the same time. And having this to help with my alignment is going to be a game changer for me. So it really makes this, this product much more usable than ever before. And even though it was usable before, it had its kinks, right? And you had to get used to it. But this is going to be uh, transformational for me, right? So uh, that is going to be something that's really cool. Uh, the camera is another game changer. Now, we have jigs for everything. And jigs help us provide precision when it comes to creating, again, consistency and professional-looking products. But alignment and having this feature also is a big changer for me. So um, another feature that I would say that I'm really excited about. And let's take a look at the speed of things. So let's look at, for example, this. You look at 6,000 millimeters per second, that doesn't really uh, hurt my brain too much. And I'll tell you, I wouldn't focus on the 6,000 millimeters per second. 6,000 millimeters per second is unrealistic. I would never, and I have never been able to engrave at top speed for any laser that I own. It's like saying I have a car that can drive 300 miles an hour and you buy the car solely because you could go 300 miles an hour. You're never going to drive it at that speed. Uh, some people can't control the car at that speed. So here, I don't know that I've ever had a laser that I've been able to engrave anything at quality of that top speed. So what I look at is what is a functional speed? You know, the speed that I find that's appropriate for the functions that I'm going to be exercising. What's appropriate, right? Or common sense speed. Look at this. A coconut right? The area, 32 millimeters by 50 millimeters, 32 seconds. That to me is functional. I could see myself engraving something and having that speed is great. A charger, 13 seconds, 25 by 30. I could see us doing that. That's fast. A necklace. This is where I get excited. Um, again, look at this, this metal here, black mark, 49 seconds. Those of you who today engrave with the F1, can you do this kind of mark in 49 seconds? No, you can't. You can get it done, but it's going to take far more than that. Bottle caps, we do a lot of these for when we're doing um, any kind of wedding or you know corporate event where you have bottle stoppers. Uh, 21 seconds each. Can you imagine how much of a line you're not going to have? This is great. Uh, acrylic earrings, here's another area. Uh, and then uh, if you do paper, we don't do any paper, but festive cards, I guess three seconds, that's, you know, that's not my stick, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time in there. So... There's, there's a lot there to like with this laser, including the accuracy that you see here. This has been something that's been, uh, I think, a staple for Xtool, and that is higher resolution engraves. And you can see how they're comparing it to other brands. So again, going back to like where we were, at least from, from a usage perspective, we were actually starting to shift away from the F1 because of speed and the lack of a camera. And now when I see this, this kind of redirects my focus back to it because Xtool combined with their ecosystem, their, um, their actually studio software, and then now that this has a camera and then it looks like right here, that looks like that's the brand new uh, rotary from Xtool. That's going to be also something that's going to, that's going to upgrade this even further. So I'm really excited to see how all these things come together. And I really think that this is a valuable laser to consider. 
So um, let us know what you think. Are there any features here that stand out? I'll have links to, um, again, where you can get the laser, put the deposit, and see some of the reviews. We, we hope to have our hands on one so that we could do our, our own review and share with you our findings. And as always, we're going to have jigs. We're going to have lots of jigs. Um, all our jigs will be compatible with the F2, just as they are with the F2 Ultra. They'll be compatible with the F2. So don't worry if you're upgrading, your jigs will work there as well. So guys, let us know what you think about the F2. Are you going to consider it as an add-on to your laser, um, you know, all the lasers that you have? Would you upgrade from the F1 to the F2? Or do you have your sights on the F2 Ultra UV? I have it too. There's just too many lasers and not enough time. Anyways, let me know in the comment area and see you in the next video.